Nestled among the small towns and vast farmlands of the Midwest lies a bustling community. One that supports a global mobility and transportation enterprise. One that flies, fights, and wins in air, space, and cyberspace. It's been 100 years in the making. This year, we will celebrate a century of service that all began during World War I, when the War Department looked for ways to expand the role for aviation. Leaders on both sides of the Mississippi River, including the St. Louis Chamber of Commerce, the Greater Belleville Board of Trade, and aerial expert Albert Bond Lambert, wanted the Midwest to be chosen for this new field. Pilots soon took to the skies in their Curtis Jenny aircraft. The field was named after Corporal Frank Scott, the first enlisted person to be killed in an aviation crash. Scott remains the only U.S. Air Force installation named after an enlisted person. Due to the many inherent risks of flying, innovative aviators configured the Jenny aircraft to carry patients, thus creating the dawn of air medical evacuation, a mission still performed by Scott Airmen today under the wing motto, Help from Above. In 1921, Scott Field became the nation's first inland airship port when lighter-than-air missions arrived. Enormous airships left people in awe while large experimental balloons dotted the skies. The lighter-than-air age came to a close in 1937, and in 1938, while still part of the Army, Scott was chosen to become the new home to General Headquarters Air Force. However, the outbreak of World War II canceled that initiative. Instead, a new communications training era began in 1939 with the opening of the radio school which trained operators of command and control communications in every theater of the war, becoming the eyes and ears of the Army Air Forces. During its existence, Scott would graduate 150,000 airmen. On September 17, 1947, the Air Force became a separate service, thus redesignating Scott Field as Scott Air Force Base. In 1958, Military Airlift Transport Service arrived at Scott, and by 1964, Scott was responsible for all aeromedical transportation in the United States. Flying the C-119 Flying Box Cars, the 932nd Troop Carrier Group was activated at Scott in 1963, changing our airspace. Shortly thereafter, in 1966, the 375th Aeromedical Airlift Wing was formed and Military Airlift Transport was redesignated Military Airlift Command. They were then equipped with a fleet of C-9A Nightingales. By 1975, the base became solely responsible for all worldwide patient movement. During this period, our other missions continued to grow and Scott played a role in every major news event. From supporting the return of Vietnam War POWs, to evacuating more than 2,600 Vietnamese orphans in Operation Baby Lift, Scott Airmen continued to bring the weary and wounded home. The 80s, 90s, and 2000s continued to see Scott grow and expand its missions and roles. U.S. Transportation Command arrived in 1987 to manage all DOD's transportation needs. Air Mobility Command replaced Military Airlift Command in 1992, and the 618th Air Operations Center stood up that same year to monitor all air mobility flights worldwide. The Air National Guard's 126th Air Refueling Wing complemented Scott's total force upon its arrival in 1999 and filled the airspace with the KC-135 Straddle Tanker. In 2003, 18th Air Force was activated and is now the largest numbered Air Force. Scott is now home to more than 30 mission partners, such as the Air Force Network Integration Center, the Surface Deployment and Distribution Command, the 635th Supply Chain Operations Wing, and DISA's Global Operations Command. Even our newest partner, the 688th Cyberspace Operations Group. We stand in awe at the tremendous journey of the past 100 years, a century of changes in size, infrastructure, organizations, and missions. Scott has become a joint service, total force and global airlift and transportation hub for our nation. 
with a workforce second to none, equally matched with outstanding patriotic community supporters devoted to our military members and their families. We are one team executing rapid global mobility and cyber reach missions that allow our military to project power anywhere, anytime. We honor the legacy of those who have gone before us. Their sacrifices, innovations, and devotion to duty are stellar examples remembered throughout our installation. And we look forward to the future and upward to the skies where we still hear the sounds of freedom.